Now we want to configure some of the requirements that we have in a SQL script. Like we want to make this ID column an identity column, which will be the primary key of this table. In order to do that, we have a data annotation or an attribute known as key. If you enter that, you notice the red squiggly lines. If you hover on that, it would display an error that key attribute could not be found. That is because we have to add a using statement. So you need to make sure your keyboard is on the key and then if you press Ctrl dot, it will display that you can add using statement to resolve this. So we will press enter, that will add the using statement which has the data annotation that we want. Once this key annotation has been applied, it will tell Entity Framework Core that hey, when you create a script to create this table, you need to make sure that ID is a primary key and it should also be an identity column. It does all the configuration and talking by itself. We just need to write one attribute and everything will be done for us. Pretty simple, right? The next thing that we wanted to do is we want to make sure that name is a required property. So here we have another attribute which is required. Once you assign that, when it creates the script, it will make sure that name is not a nullable property. Now we have talked about these two, but there are more annotations that you can do for validation. With this in place, the initial iteration of our model looks good. How do we create that in our database now? Let's take a look at that in the next video.